What's up guys? Alright, today, well tonight, uh, we're shooting the Milky Way and I got about a half an hour before the Milky Way is visible over the horizon. Uh, so I wanted to talk a little bit about how I plan it, how I shoot it, and what I'm planning on doing tonight. So the app that I use for planning the Milky Way shots is called Photo Pills. And it's an iPhone app only, but it is it is seriously the greatest app ever. I mean, you can do sunsets, um, sunrises, Milky Way shots, star trails. Uh, you can do, uh, they give you the, the, the math to do like exposures if you want to do long exposures. Um, depth of field tables they have all kinds of stuff on here uh, it's really really great uh, it tells you you know all the sunset times your your nautical twilights and, and your astronomical you know twilights and, and, and that kind of thing the galactic uh, center visibility is for your for your uh, your Milky Ways um, so it's I think it's like 10 bucks I think on on the iPhone app um, so what it does is it combines like three different apps that I used to use for my Android. It combines like the Photographer's Ephemeris, which is a real good one for, um, you know, planning out your sunrise and sunset shoots. It tells you which direction the sun's going to be, uh, the times, and stuff like that. It's really great. So it combines that with a bunch of tables for mathematical like exposure uh, equations and stuff, and uh, times for star trails, long exposures. Um, and you can use stuff like uh, Starry, uh, what's it called, Skyview, I think, for Android is a good app to use. Um, it does like a virtual reality, so you can point the camera in certain areas and it'll show you where the stars are, where the Milky Way Galactic Center is, and stuff like that. So I really love this app. It is awesome. And that's what I use tonight. It shows where the Milky Way is. It's going to be like a, like a horizontal Milky Way, kind of like a rainbow or an arch almost. It tells you how long it's going to be available, when the moonrise happens, the moon phase, and all that kind of stuff. So um, it's really important to plan stuff like that when you want to shoot the Milky Way. Obviously, you want a clear sky, so you have, you know, I have a weather app to tell you, you know, it's going to be a clear sky or not. And uh, I'm like an hour and a half or so down a dirt road away from any kind of town or something. So I am way back in here. So uh, hopefully... You know, nothing happens to my car or anything like that, so this will turn into a Blair Witch Project <laughs> video really fast. That's not going to happen. We're going to be good. So anyway, like I said, I'm so far back in here. I'm definitely in mountain lion country, so some tips for shooting by yourself in the dark, especially when you're way back in. And the reason why I came back here before I get into the tips is because there's an arch, a stone arch back here. And uh, what I want to do is take uh, what's lighting this video here I got a loom cube and I'll put the link in the description below. I absolutely love this thing. It's got like 10 different brightness. I'm on the number one brightness right now. So it's the, the least bright and it goes all the way up to 10 and you can use your, uh, the nap on your phone and take pictures with your phone and use this as a flash also. So it's really nice. And I got a couple, I got a headlamp, I got a regular flashlight. So I got all kinds of lights here, you know, cause I'm trying to film a video at the same time. So I'm going to use that to light paint the inside of the arch. I'm mean, going to try and get the Milky Way with the arch, whether it's inside the arch or above the arch or whatever. I kind of want to get the same kind of arch going. Um, how many times am I going to say arch? So that's what I want to do with today. That's why I came way back in here. That's why I'm way in mountain lion country back here. So with that being said, I want to talk a little bit about being back here if you're by yourself. Um, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. But what I do is I make a lot of noise. I talk, which I'll be talking to the camera. Um, if you have music on your phone, play some music. It's, 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 it's a little nerve wracking being back here by yourself. I really don't want anything to happen to my, <laughs> my car. So I got to a place where I can't go any farther because the road gets real rocky and I just brought my car. So I'm parked here on the side now waiting for, uh, waiting for the center to get up. So I'm going to walk up here in about 10 minutes. I'm going to start walking up because it's about 200 yards off the road. Um, to the place I want to start shooting. So I'm going to do my best to show you guys how I light paint. I'll try and get it because of the, the the low light capabilities of the GoPro isn't that great because that's got such a small sensor. But I'm going to do my best to show you guys and try and videotape uh, me getting the inside of the arch and me light painting I'm trying to get this Milky Way shot. So, All right, guys. So still a little ways away here. But also, <laughs> in addition to mountain lion country, it's rattlesnake country here, so at nighttime, I don't know. I mean, yeah, they're out. 
there's a lot of brush, a lot of rocks and cactus to get up to where I'm going. So with this big light for shining in my eyes, I can't see where I'm going. So I'm gonna turn this off and I will see you guys here in just a few minutes. I'm gonna get up to this elephant arch and see you guys in a sec. All right, so this is the arch here that I'm gonna light paint the inside of it with the loom cube or with my flashlight or something. I'm going to uh, light up the inside and then hopefully with the Milky Way, that's gonna be a little bit because uh, got some mountains in the background here. So kind of miscalculated my timing a little bit. May have another half an hour or so before it actually peaks above the horizon. So what I might try and do is get the uh, Milky Way on the inside of the arch. We'll see, I brought a wide angle lens, uh, Tamron 15 to 30 millimeter F2.8. So I said I wanna light paint the inside. And uh, so, if you're meant to, I'll get set up and I'll show you guys what I got going on. So I kind of messed around, you saw a little bit with uh, my composition right up into the arch. So I see the inside of the arch is really close. What I think I'm gonna do is light the arch up again with this light and then I'm gonna manual focus. I'm gonna turn my auto focus off, manual focus, zoom into the actual rock and manual focus on the rock there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two shots. One shot is gonna be for the foreground at a really low ISO. I'm gonna mess around with the exposure on that a little bit. This, this a lot of this is gonna be just, just trying to figure out what I like and, and different settings, different uh, shutter speeds, because you know, with, with lighting, you never know how it's gonna turn out. So you take pictures, see what it likes, you know, and then you adjust from there. And then I wanna take a second exposure for the Milky Way itself. So I'm gonna leave my camera in the same spot, take one for the, uh, with the low ISO for the foreground, and then change my ISO and turn the lights off for the rock and just shoot the Milky Way behind it. So that way I got one exposure just for the Milky Way, exposed just for the Milky Way, and then the other exposure for the, the, the arch there and the foreground, and then I'll blend them together in Photoshop. Um, because you got such a dynamic range, because you got some light on an arch and you know everything in the foreground, you know, I think that's the best way to go. I'll turn the ISO up for the Milky Way and I'll shoot the Milky Way that way. So I think that'll be my best, uh, like I said, that'll be giving my best result. And then what I'll do is I'll step back a little ways and I'll try and get the Milky Way over the arch. So I'm gonna do a couple different shots there, see how it turns out and then uh, just see how it goes. So that does it for tonight. I think I got some good shots, but you, see, you can see there had some clouds in the way. It called for a clear night on my weather app, but uh, you know how the weather is. Uh, usually in Arizona, it's pretty reliable. It's pretty clear all the time. But of course, the night I go out to make a Milky Way tutorial, I get clouds. But that's okay. I think it kind of added to the picture a little bit, though. I liked it a lot. Um, I like the way it kind of looks in the nighttime when you start uh, taking star pictures or any kind of astrophotography. The clouds can make it really kind of cool. Unless you're doing star trails, then it completely ruins your shot. But if you're just doing Milky Way shots, sometimes it kind of adds to it a little bit, and I kind of like that. So anyway, that does it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.